Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis Lewis Speaks 2024, and today I want to talk to you all about the reverse beauty bias. You know, we live in a world nowadays where if you are beautiful, you are considered untrustworthy, you are considered to be a hoe, you are considered to be promiscuous, you are considered to cheat and be unfaithful. There's all these preconceived notions attached to your beauty. It's sad, but it's true. I've recently encountered this phenomenon where if you're beautiful or you're handsome or you're good looking, you are not entitled to feel sadness. You are not entitled to feel your feelings. It's this belief that beauty protects you from sadness and from grief. And that's not true. You know, beautiful people hurt too. Beautiful people struggle too, especially in this day and age. But it's the belief that, oh, what do you have to be sad about? The world falls at your feet. What do you got to be mad about or angry about? It's like we're not entitled to our feelings because we look a certain way. And that's unfortunate. You know, we now have the phenomenon where girls are now seeking medium ugly guys. They're looking for medium ugly guys or less attractive guys because it's the belief that if you are good looking, you are unfaithful, that you have so many other people trying to get with you. And it's like, are you serious? You know, you have so many other prospects that you won't be loyal and you won't be faithful. It's just these false beliefs because you have the medium ugly guys out here now getting cute. They're out here cheating on women and cheating on men. So that belief is just so false, you know? I guess it's the belief that if you're medium ugly, then you'll be so grateful that you found a partner that you'll be faithful, right? But I see so many women crying over these busted dudes. They're busted. And they're sitting up there in tears on the ledge ready to jump over some medium ugly dude. Oh, please. And not even medium. Highly ugly dude. But yet and still, they got these preconceived notions about men who look good. You know? And it's ridiculous. It's like these in this day and age, you can't take care of yourself or else your sexuality and your sexual orientation is in question if you're a man. You know, it's just you can't do anything without somebody having something to say about it. And you know, the reverse beauty bias, I've experienced this. You know, people have saw me or see me out in the world and they said, I didn't approach you because you look like everybody talks to you. You look like you have a lot and a lot of friends, you know? So I didn't even bother, you know? I've had family members tell me that they would never approach a good looking person because they feel as though that good looking person will not appreciate them. They have so many other options to choose from that they won't appreciate them, which to me is ridiculous because it doesn't matter what you look like in this day and age. It really matters about the content of your character because you got so many people out here who are less attractive and they just have poor characters. So you think that because they're less attractive, they'll be grateful. No, a lot of them are still entitled, still are just jerks, narcissistic, liars, cheaters, the whole nine. So it's like, come on, it holds no weight. I think people need to focus so much more on a person's spirit. I wish that people saw like God saw. Because it says God doesn't see, you know, in the scriptures it mentions God doesn't see like humans see. You know, he sees the heart, he sees the spirit, and that's what's important. He sees our spirit. Because all the looks, let me tell you, they fade. Time, time takes its toll. And all the ones who put so much emphasis on their looks and what they look like, they are in for a rude awakening. They are definitely in for a very, very difficult adjustment period because everything that they have was put on their looks. They didn't feel the need to cultivate a a personality because they thought that they could always hide behind their looks, you know? 
And it's just, it's about your character, you know? And as beautiful, good looking, handsome people, we can't let other people try to interject their opinion into our reality. We can't, we can't take them seriously. You know, we can't allow their negativity and their false perceptions to dictate and determine how we move in the world. We have got to just enjoy our beauty while it lasts. You know, there's so many of us that I see that are out here apologizing for our beauty, trying our best not to be perceived as conceited that we just play small, trying our best to fit in to the perceptions of this world. Nah, you know? Today, I read a text, it said, Romans 12, 2, do not be fashioned after the system of work, a uh, system of things, but go on making your mind over. Do not be fashioned after the system of things, but go on making your mind over. And the thing about making your mind over, it requires a complete renovation. It requires you not to take seriously the opinions, the faulty thinking, and the belief system of this twisted and crooked generation. These people got distorted ways of thinking. We should never, do you see the river apologizing to the sky for how it's made? Do you see the sky apologizing to the sun? Do you see the sun apologizing because it shines? Do you see the moon apologizing because it glows? No, it just goes. It just expresses its beauty. It expresses its light. Its purpose is to shine. Our purpose on this earth is to shine. We don't apologize for that. And it's not being arrogant. It's not being conceited. It's not thinking that you're better than somebody. It's feeling good about the skin you're in and wanting to share that, wanting other people to, to experience that without trying to apologize for it, your own good feelings. You know, so many people try to undercut you and try to cut your head off in order for them to stand taller. And that I can't condone. I don't condone that at all. You know, because they feel insecure, because they feel inadequate, or they don't like the way that they look, they try to make you feel bad about the way that you look. No. Refuse that. Refuse that. Because you, you know you're beautiful. Even when you don't fit into the westernized and standard definition of beauty, which is oftentimes very twisted and Eurocentric and just, no. You don't have to fit into this traditional idea of beauty. God creates beauty in so many different skin tones and so many different shapes and sizes, colors and structures. We are beautiful. We are beautiful. And we got to know it. We got to know it. Because I tell you, this world, this world will try to convince you that you are nothing. Whether you're be traditionally beautiful or non-traditionally beautiful, this world will try to always convince you that you are not worth anything and you got to resist that immediately. You are worth everything. Never apologize for existing, for breathing, for being. You deserve to be here. Please know that you are on purpose. You are on purpose every single day. Please know that. And so I hope this message lands on your heart. For those who are beautiful, please resist this, this notion that this world has, this bias that they have towards you, thinking that you don't have feelings or needs or you don't require care and love and support because you do. Your feelings count. Your feelings count. You are entitled to your emotions and you are entitled to get the care and the love that you need. And if you're not getting that, it's time to move on. You know, today I was by the river and I was looking at the river and I was saying to myself, you know, I don't see any garbage or junk in this river. And I know people throw garbage and junk, but I see that the river keeps on moving. So whatever people try to throw in that river, 
right? It keeps on flowing and it flushes out the trash. And oftentimes it throws the trash right back at them. The river will take it with his hands and toss it right back onto dry land. The river keeps moving and that's the secret to keep moving. Even when other people try to burden you and dump on you and try to basically throw their trash in you, you move it. You keep moving. And that's the key. Beautiful people, we gotta keep moving. Keep growing, keep moving, keep taking good care of ourselves. And if they wanna think that we're conceited, that we are promiscuous, that we're, who cares? Whatever, what they think doesn't compare to what your life already knows. Always remember that. You're here on purpose. Live your light and shine. So this is Lewis Speaks, y'all. Thank you so much for listening. Peace.